All right, so the day I'll be working this Osterizer blender, right? And the thing with this is the, um, the drive stud, it wear down. All right, so you see the, you see the drive stud, and you can see it wrong. And this is the replacement. You see this one square, right? So it's always be square to fit in on the blade. So it can spin. Alright. Now this one, this one it wear on get wrong to the edge, the square edge, it wear on, it get wrong. So for this to work again, you gotta change the dry stutter. Alright, so today I'll be showing you how to change the dry stutter in this Osterizer blender. Alright, so look, I will show you working. Okay, it working. Alright, so it working good. Alright, so first thing first, unplug it. Right now, it has three screws to remove. All right, so that one right here. Alright, so all three screws removed, we move the back cover. Press that side. Alright, so the next step now. Alright, so I guess I suck it. Alright. Alright, so I need to suck it for this um this nut that hole on the um the blade the cooling blade. Alright, so I get one. And the other end, you have to use a pliers for the other end because there's nothing, there are no tools that can hold the other end but the pliers. Right, so use that pliers to hold this end. And turning anti clockwise. Right, so. Remove the nut. Then the cooling blade. Then the spacer. All right. So now the next step now is to remove these two long screws. Pull out this part. 
Alright. Remove the field coil. Alright, so. So now you're going to hold this amateur with your hand and then with the pliers you're holding the other end you're holding the dry stud and it turning and the clockwise right and there you have it right so this is the old one and the new one is um where the new one is oh uh, right so this is the new one so as you can see the difference this one's square and this one wrong right the square and this wrong out and this one's square so this this is the new one i'll put on the new one Screw it up with your finger and then holding the pliers again, alright, and then turn it clockwise to tighten. No, you don't want to tighten this too tight because it can damage. You can, um, you see, if I tighten it tight, this this coupling it can it can break out because the bottom is is metal, the top is metal, and between is rubber, right? So the rubber holding the, the metal on top and on the bottom. So if you if you tighten it, the whole rubber will burst out. So you want to tighten it, but you don't tighten it too tight to burst the rubber in the coupling, right? So just hold it tight. And is it? Alright, so it on the um, putting back the um circuit board. Then the winding all right and you will have a problem all right so the brushes in this I find the brushes in this looking kind of kind of wet on all right so the brushes in this is sticking All right, so the brushes in this sticking, I will rub it on a little bit with a fine sandy pop. All right, so I got a little rough sandy pop. Alright, so let's find out all the rough sandy part.
All right, so you're more free now. I will do the same thing with this side. All right, so this one's this one's stuck too. Alright, so we're more free now. So I'll put back this together. You can see, right? It's spinning freely. All right. Now it's time for the brushes. Now the other side. So you want to take off a Phillips screwdriver and pressing the spring, right? Sending the, stri the spring and then pushing the clip. Okay, so now the spacer, the cooling fan blade. And then in that. Okay, so you do the same thing as before. in the end with the pliers. All 
and then tighten clockwise. Put down the circuit board in place, secure the wires, make sure the wires are not touching the, bl the blade. Alright. Put on the back cover. And there you have it. So now you know how to change a dry starter on an Australia blender. Thanks for watching all my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment below. Until next time, Mr. Fix It 360 saying good luck with all your peers.